Welcome back to our class with Mr. Darby. Today we're going to be drawing a guitar. So grab your pencils and pens and markers and color pencils, whatever you want to use, and let's get started. Okay, to make this guitar, we're going to start up here in the top right corner, and we're going to make the head of the guitar kind of curve around like this. Look how close to the edge I get. Then I want to make this come in at a diagonal. All right, still, when I talk about diagonals, I'm talking about compared to the top and the bottom of the paper. And I want this to come in and get a little skinnier so that our guitar looks kind of like a rectangle going back in space. Here's the thickness of the guitar head and we're just going to go ahead and curve that as well. Notice there's two diagonal lines that get smaller or closer together. That is um, to make it look like it's getting further away. So we're going to go ahead and make our line for our guitar neck coming in. And this one will do the same. It's going to get a little skinnier. Here's where I'm aiming for, okay? I'm going to bring this in to here. All right, so we missed our mark. That's that's not terrible, and uh, it'll be okay. At the end of this, we want our circle, our opening, uh, for the acoustics of the guitar to work correctly. We'll have a little hole in a guitar like this. We can make that look like it has thickness, so you can kind of see down inside there. So we'll just kind of put another curve here, and that'll be the thickness of the wood. The next thing to do would be to add three circles here. These are like little screws that turn the strings of the guitar to tune them. And we'll have kind of a little bar right here. And we'll do the little keys to turn to tune. We're just going to make them little rainbow shapes kind of like that okay next step we're gonna come up a little higher um, we have to draw the lines for the frets uh, for the guitar but before we do that we're gonna make the body so we know kind of what shape we want it to be so we're gonna come up a little bit we're gonna come like a backwards C and over here on this side we're gonna make this like an extension so it kind of comes up through we can make it come up a little bit higher even. And we're gonna make this like a C, but this one kind of comes in a little bit more. We have to know where the back of the body of the guitar is. Well, this one has to fit on the page. So we're just gonna make this round. It's gonna like a, like a roller coaster even. So we'll come down and back up. And then this is gonna be a big round backwards C also, but this, this is going to have to curve down and we want to connect these so let's go ahead and make this like a big backward C shape and connect them right so we want to bring them back in together the strings come down all the way through and then they stop back here and uh, they go over this little rail right here and so we can make a rectangle shape and then let's just go ahead and make a rounded shape like this on the back of it where the strings would connect and we can make this look three-dimensional kind of like we did with the head up here let's go ahead and make uh, this line coming in here and this line coming in here and then again, we'll just follow the shape that we already had made. One here, and one here. Let's finish that up with a line coming in here. So it follows, and in here, just like that. You may have room to make that kind of follow this shape here. That's important, okay? On our guitar, uh, we can also do our um, pick guard. So 
Uh, if we do this correctly, kind of the way I drew it, it's almost like it's for a lefty, I think. So let's go ahead and put the pit guard up at the top here like this. It's like a kidney shape. It's like a bean. All right, nice. Nice bean. So let's go ahead and add all the little frets. Um, we can make them closer together here and then farther apart as they get closer to us. And as they get closer to us, what we can do is give them thickness. So you can see those a little bit better. Let's do two more. One here and one here. Very good. All right. So now the strings come down and this one's gonna kinda come straight down and this one will come straight down this one's going to come down here and here, and this one will come to the middle, and so will this one. Okay, we could put a design up here, you know, if we wanted to look like something cool. Let's make it look like a crown. All right, just for a little detail on there. Now we have to make the strings come down and connect here. Since there are six strings, we should put six little pegs here. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. This one connects here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so there's some mistakes in here. Probably the guitar strings should be tightened. They're probably too loose. Um, this is for fun, this is for practice, but you can take a ruler and make these nice and straight. Also, when you go slow and you're drawing slowly, you'll find out really quick that drawing slow will make it so that your hand might shake or get stuck on your paper. So the faster you can draw a line, the smoother that line's going to be. That's always going to be true. And then if you need to get out a ruler and you want to make these perfect, you should do that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and color the shadow in that's inside the guitar. I'm going to leave a space up here by a string. And then I'm going to color that in black. And then I can do the same thing here. And even though it would be black in between the strings, uh, that's sufficient. That looks good. I like it. Before I start coloring, I like to... Um, I like to make a key of all the colors that I have and uh, these are the colors that I have been working with so when I come in here and I can look and say hey I want my guitar to look like wood well these are some good wood colors 314 um, I don't know maybe maybe this uh, 648 so I can decide what colors I want beforehand because just looking at the caps of the markers it's not always gonna be um, accurate and even though they might be really close you want to know for sure before you start putting it on the paper what you're going to like There we have our beautiful picture of our acoustic guitar. Thank you for drawing with me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. And guys, practice makes progress. So, keep it up. Keep going. Keep working. Keep making. Keep creating. I'm proud of you for tuning back in and 
working on those drawing skills. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon.